Hello and welcome to our session of standing exercises, which is a companion to the seated exercise sessions we've been doing on Alice in Wonderland. Uh, you might be familiar with some of the themes we use in those sessions if you do them, but these can be done as standalone sessions too. Please do feel free to use a chair if you would like some support during the exercises. And if at any point you need a break and you want to go and get some water or just take a rest, then just pause the video and resume where you left off. So Louisa and Rosa are going to be leading exercises from their home and I'll be providing music from my home. And we hope you enjoy it very much. So welcome to our standing classes. Um, we're going to start with a warm up and it's quite a fast one and we'll get the heart rate going and our muscles warm. So we're going to do some marching. It's, we're just going to do it as you follow me, but a few things before we go. So we're going to do quite a lot of marching and then we're going to do some taps. So just keeping that softness in your knees as we do that. So marching and tapping our feet with some arms. And we'll come into slightly wider base and you can turn, I want you to think about more like your really strength uh, sort of gym squats rather than your ballet and dance these squats if you're a plies, if you've been doing some of the other classes with us. So really getting your, stick your bum out and get, so that we can get the big muscles here really warmed up. So we're going to get low and you can widen your legs and turn your toes out just a little bit if that feels good. And then we're going to do some twisting and punching arm movements here so that you can feel that you have that stable, steady base and you can really start to warm up your legs there, okay? Um, yes, and that's it. And yeah, and we're going to do some uh, sort of uh, parallel squats as well. And rather than thinking about that plie where we want to keep our spine nice and tall and pelvis in neutral, I want you to really think about sticking your sit bones on so that you can get a bit lower down there and again pumping the blood through the big muscles to warm up properly so we get our heart rate going. So let's do this with some nice music that jolly music that Nina's play for us. So we'll start in our parallel. Just have a little softness in your knees throughout this and here we go. So here we go starting with some shoulders. We'll go up and down and one up change And ready to move on. 
We are going to do a plie exercise now, which has a little movement through our feet as well. And um, the moves are quite simple, so it should be quite nice and easy to follow along, but it's really going to help build some strength in your body as well. Um, so if you'd like to, just to say you can use perhaps a wall for support or a chair um, if you'd like to do so for this exercise, it's completely up to you. Do what's right for yourself. Um, I'll just be showing it standing um, in the space and you can do that too. Uh, but as I say, feel free to use some support if, if that's what you'd like to do. I'm just going to start slightly facing away from the camera so you can hopefully see my feet whilst they're in parallel position. We start in parallel and our, t our um, tummy is pulling up nice and tall, our bottoms pressing down towards the floor and our shoulder blades are reaching towards the floor as well. We take a plie through our knees and press up and then we're going to lift one heel off the ground and lower and then we're going to lift our toes off the ground, same foot and lower and hold it there for a count, prepare to go again. We've got plie. Stretch other foot this time, heels lift, lower, toes lift, lower, and then we're going to turn into first position. So um, you'll all be facing the front for that, so you just take both feet and find a really nice easy first where you feel very stable and comfortable. And then we repeat that all in first position. We've got a plie, stretch, lift those heels, lower, lift the toes, Lower, hold it there, prepare to go again. Plie, stretch, heel lifts, lower. Toes lift, lower. Use that foot to point and lower into a wider position, our second position. We're then going to take all of that again. We've got plie, stretch, heels lift, lower. Toes lift, lower. Hold it there to plie, Stretch, heel lifts, toes lift, and we point to close into first position and we finish there. Okay, so just coming back to our parallel, um, that toe lift sometimes can feel quite challenging and it may even feel like you can hardly get your toes up at all, but just really try and find that sensation of lifting those toes if you're comfortable doing that. If you prefer to, and you're feeling a bit unstable with the, that toe lift, just lift that heel twice. So replace that toe lift with one heel lift. So let's try that all the way through with some music. Just a reminder, you can use a wall or a chair in front of you for support. It's completely up to you. So if you'd like to go and get that, do um, just pause the video here. Um, but otherwise, if you're, if you're ready, standing nice and tall, here we go. And plie, stretch, heel lifts, toes lift, find that length, we plie down, heel lifts, toes lift, and turn out to first, plie, stretch, heel lifts, toes lift, hold it there, again a plie, heel lifts, toes lift, and point, lower down, plie, heel, toes, hold it there, we've got a plie, heel lifts, toes lift, and point to close. Lovely, coming back to our parallel position, we're going to add some port de bras arms onto that now, so you can absolutely just keep your arms down by your side and focus on what your feet are doing, but if you'd like to, we'll add just a couple of arms into that, into that sequence that we've got there. So, our feet are in parallel, our arms are in bra bar, so just um, finding that kind of round shape in your arms, reaching down towards the floor. As you plie, your arms are going to come into first and stretch. And as your heel lifts, your arms are going to come out to second position and lower. And as your toes lift, your arms are staying where they are. So in that second position and then in that break that we've got, arms float down back to bra bar. And we repeat, we've got plie, stretch, out to second as your heel lifts. 
Keep them there as your toes lift and lower them down. And as we lower them down that second time, we're turning out to our first with our feet. Okay, so then we've got a plie all the way through, exactly the same. Toes lift, arms float down and uh, plie, open out. Keep them there as your toes lift, point lower down. We've got a plie, arms out, toes lift, float them down. Last time, plie, arms out, toes lift and point to close. Okay, so coming back into our parallel position to start with, let's try that again all the way through with some music. And a clear, arms out, toes lift, float those arms down and plie, heel lifts, toes lift, and find your foot, a plie, arms out, toes lift, and arms float down, again plie, heel lifts, toes lift, and point lower down, plie, heel lifts, toes lift, arms float down, we've got a plie, heel lifts, toes lift, Point to close. Lovely, just finding that easy parallel position again. So I'm sure you kind of felt all your arms working there as we went through the port de bras for those of you that did the arm movements and really felt that strength in your legs. So feel free to go back and do that again if you'd like another go at it, but we will otherwise move on to our next exercise. Our next exercise is going to be based on one of our characters from Alice in Wonderland. And we actually looked at this character when we were seated. And so we're gonna kind of extract some of that movement and bring it up to standing. Um, so we're looking at the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland during this exercise. And we're gonna start with our feet in parallel position, feeling nice and tall. And for those of you that remember those um, exercises, or that have done the Alice in Wonderland exercises seated, you'll remember we've got our big Cheshire Cat smile. So we're going to start with that idea, and our hands come under our jaw, and we draw this big smile up to the ceiling. And our hands are really reaching up, and we've got this big V shape here in our arms. And as we do that, we're going to point one foot out to the side and lower it down. Okay, so coming back to parallel, let's do that all together. We draw that smile, our foot points out, and as we reach our fingers to the ceiling, we lower that foot to the floor. So both feet are planted on the floor here. Good. And from there, we're going to turn onto a slight diagonal. So you're just going to move one foot forwards and twist your body around there. And then your arms are going to curve over you. So you're making this sort of C shape with your arms here. And there's a slight bend in your knees. And this is as though we're sort of disappearing here. So we've got a big Cheshire Cat smile, lower that heel. Bring that round to a diagonal, bend and curve through your spine. From here, you're reaching up to the ceiling, your legs straighten. And then our heel, the heels of our hands are pressing down as we take a big cat yawn. Good, and then you're going to lift one arm up to the ceiling. Whilst you do that, that leg is going to point back towards the front, and then that's going to bring you back to center, to where you started. Just gonna move back slightly myself so I can make sure you can see everything I'm doing. We repeat that all to the other side. So we take that big Cheshire cat smile, pointing one foot, Lower down, enjoying that moment there. And then we're coming over to the corner, twisting around, taking a plie, reaching those hands up, pressing the heels of our hands away and taking a big cat yawn and then lifting one arm up, one leg points back towards the center of the room and brings you back to where you started. 
Okay, so that's our first section. And I think it would be nice just to put that bit to some music so we know what we're working with and then we will add on our second section once we've done that. So just feeling nice and tall, hands down by our sides. Here we go. We've got a style. Lower that foot. Take that round to the corner and we curve. Bending our knees, straightening up, and take that, yaw, good, and reach one arm, one leg, bring you back, ready to go on the other side, reaching, and back, take that to the corner, and we back, reaching, and a yaw, Reach one on one leg, bring you back. So that was our first section, and I hope you enjoyed um, feeling that movement with the music there. Let's add on our second section. So we're back facing the front, our feet are still in our parallel position, and we're going to reach one foot forwards and plant that foot down onto the ground, okay? So we're reaching plant that foot and then we're bending into that foot and kind of transferring our weight into that knee to point and close. And whilst we do that, we're reaching one paw forwards, another paw forwards and third paw forwards and then everything comes back into close. Okay, let's do that one more time. We're reaching one, two, three, feeling that bend in that knee, letting it come back to parallel, lovely. And then we've got that cat stretch. I'm just gonna to turn to the side so you can see that tummy button to the back of the spine. Our hands are reaching forwards, really, really pressing that curve into your spine there. So that space in the front still. We've got that cat stretch. And then you're gonna bring both your paws up and give them a lick. Good. And then we repeat that with the other leg and other arms starting first. So we've got one, two, three, bring that in. Really reaching, doing a big cat stretch. There can be a slight bend in your knees here if you like. And then bringing both paws up to have a wash. Nice. We're going to finish with a circle of our wrist and we're imagining here we're kind of circling our tail with our paw. And whilst we do that, we twist one way to, to look behind us to take that one circle with your wrist and come back to centre. And then we do that the other side, so bending through our knees as we twist, bring that back to centre. Lovely. And then we're going to finish with that big Cheshire cat smile reaching up to the ceiling there, okay? And we're not moving in our feet for that last one there, so it's just drawing that smile and reaching up. So let's try all of that um, section, the second section with some music where we start with our pouring forwards and then we'll do the whole thing all together, okay? So standing nice and tall, getting ready to move that first leg and first arm forwards. Here we go. We've got oh one, two, three, come in. Stretch, stretch, wash those balls. Other side on oh, one, two, three, come in and stretch, stretch, wash those balls. Now we're twisting, twist and back, twist. Just let those arms come down. Good, okay, so you can see that twist there is quite fast. So just really moving through that and kind of as you get there, coming back, as you get there, coming back to center. And that pouring forwards is really nice and slow with the music, okay? So let's put that all together. We'll have a bit of a mark through, first of all, the whole thing, and then we'll do it once more through um, without me speaking, so you can just enjoy the music and, and the movement as well. So finding our parallel position, standing nice and tall, let's give this a go all the way through. Ready? 
happy with our smile? Smile. And remember that foot. Twisting to the corner. Bend those knees and curl. Reaching up. And take that yawn. Good. And reach. Coming back to center. Other side. Big smile, smile. Lower that foot. Good. Twisting to the corner. Curving over with a bend. Reaching up. Up. And yawn. Yawn. Reach. Reach. Back to center. Moving one foot forward with one arm. One. Two. Three. Stretch, stretch and wash. Other leg, one, two, three, and in, and stretch. Stretch and wash those balls. Ready to twist, twist and back, twist and back. Smile and up. And letting those arms come down. Okay, so let's give that another go through with the music. And as I said, I will keep quiet so you can just enjoy dancing to this. Um, but just really, really make the most of those stretching movements. So when you're reaching your hands, keeping even your fingertips alive. So the energy is going all the way down your arm and out your fingertips, okay? Everything is stretching as much as it possibly can. There's some lovely moments in this where there's so much opportunity to stretch to the extreme. So really, really make the most of that. When you're ready, finding your feet in parallel. Last time through. Here we go. Lovely, well done. We're going to do a swing exercise, uh, shifting our weight uh, through our legs, so sort of weight shifting exercise. An idea here also to get the heart rate up, so we're going to do some smaller and then bigger movements to really get our heart rate pumping a little bit here. So having a little bit wider base, so we're going to just start by shifting our weight from one leg to the other. And we're going to take our body slightly forward for the first ones, taking a smaller so the sweeps through your arms here. I'm going to go four small ones, three, four, and then we're going to make it bigger. So really swing your arms and go quite low through your legs here. So you really press through the legs to shift your weight. So bending and then lengthening, bending and lengthening. Good. So that's our base movement. We'll do small ones and then we're going to make them bigger and really sweeping the arms here, making the arms big as well. And then we'll have a move where we're gonna step sideways. So we're gonna take straight from that swingy movement. So we're gonna then go step together, keeping that little bounce in your legs. Step together and step and tap. So we have four. Then we're gonna change step together, but trying to keep that sort of swingy sense in the legs here as well. 
And as we do that, we're gonna do a sort of little Hawaii dance arm. So we're gonna go arms towards where we're going. So we're gonna go one way, little wavy arms. And then we're gonna go and tap, changing the other way. So letting those wrists move here as well, pushing through the air with your hands and your wrists. Good. So those are our moves. And then we'll have one more slightly different move. So we're gonna go back into our swings and then we're gonna do a little bit more of a lift of the knee here, but keeping that going down and up that swingy move, but we'll get a little bit bigger with the legs. And we're gonna take the opposite arm. So we're gonna do four small ones like this. And then we're gonna go bigger ones. So lifting the knee and the arm higher. So opposite knee and arm. So smaller ones, opposite arm and knee. And then we're gonna make them bigger, really lifting the knee and the arm as high as you can. Good. And then we'll come back into our basic swing. So those are the movement patterns. So we have the swing, small. We have bigger swings. We have our Hawaii steps to the side. And then the fourth one is a tap. We're gonna change two, three, and four. Tap back into our swinging moves. And then we're gonna change into, so the leg rhythm is gonna stay. We're just gonna then go into our small knees and bigger ones. Yes, and we'll do those throughout. Let's try to move to some music. So finding a sort of slightly wider base, a little bend in your knees, and then we'll go with the music. So start to find that swing. shift your weight a bit like if you've ever done tai chi you're going to think about that sort of controlled slow movement from uh, leg to leg maybe you want to change you can take the other leg forward but keeping that sort of swaying sense through your legs so you can shift your weight we're going to move slowly and we're going to imagine that we have a a ball but it's not like a hard ball it's maybe a fireball or energy ball just thinking about that round shape between your hands that are sometimes it's smaller sometimes it can grow bigger but sort of that 
some connect, like you've had some sort of magic connection between your palms and you can take that ball into a journey. So sometimes it's small and you may feel like you're rolling it across your chest and sometimes it's really big. And we're gonna shift our weight through our legs, taking this magic ball into a journey and just following the lovely music and then we'll come together in the end. So just to have that opportunity to move freely following what feels good for you and imagining that that you're taking that ball into a journey. Let's give that a try. So whenever you are ready, today. Well done and hope to see you soon again.